Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Dream and you, if you are new here, and today we're gonna do a tackle your to-do list video with me. Um, I just have a ton of stuff to do and this video is kinda gonna be focused on back to school items. When I started like compiling my list, I was like, oh, I have a ton of back to school stuff that I just need to get done. So that's what this video really is gonna focus on. But this video is exciting as well because it's a collab with my um, YouTube girlfriend and Instagram girlfriend. Her name is Shantiana. She is a mama of two beautiful little girls. And the content on her channel is um, a lot of motherhood lifestyle stuff. So she actually is having you guys follow along as she's trying to lose the baby weight from having her youngest little girl. She also has a lot of day in the life videos on her channel, just fun mom content. And if you are a mama of littles, you will love following her and um, love having somebody to relate to as you go along this crazy journey called motherhood. Um, if you are over from her channel, welcome. Hi guys, my name is Dream. I am a mama of two as well, but I have a son. He is 17 years old. Um, he actually will be entering in his senior year of high school. And then my daughter is three years old three years old and she is in preschool. So I am just gonna check a bunch of stuff off my list to get them ready for school. And the school here, I am, I live in Southern California with my husband and our schools here, um, we don't have a 100% clear perspective of what going back to school is going to look like, but I know there may be uh, some online portions and then also, um, some actually being at school portions. And like I said, my son is 17 years old. So if mass requirements and those sorts of things are put in place, I know he'll be able to follow them because he is 17 years old. But um, I'll show you guys what I have on my to-do list and then let's get started. So the first thing I have is tidy the house. Um, I just wanna go through downstairs and make sure everything is kind of in its place. I want to go through and declutter my kids' clothing. I did this not too long ago, but I always do it at the beginning of a school year. I also like to do it three weeks out or a few weeks out because I donate their clothing. And if other mamas are looking for stuff, I want to contribute to them having a plethora of clothing to choose from, from their, for their littles. So I'm gonna go to, through their items so I can donate them. And then um, we're, I have to make a Target trip. I needed to gather some school supplies, especially for my older one. Even if a large portion of his schooling is online, we still need some stuff. And then I'm in my son's room for a reason because I need to grab his uniform. At school, he does not wear a uniform, but he is in JRTC, so they wear a uniform. And I just wanna get it taken to the dry cleaners so it can get nice and freshened for the new school year. Um, so let's just jump right into it and get started. So I want to show you guys how downstairs looking. Yes, there is socks on the island. And then just this area, just some things need to be put away. This area is fine. This area, I just need to tidy up all the stuff on my couch. So we're gonna start, let's start in this area and then we'll move our way to the kitchen and then I will head off to the cleaners and then to Target. And guys, I will have all of Shantiana's information linked down in my description box. I will have her link to her Instagram and I will also link to her YouTube video. So as soon as you're done watching this video, head on over to her channel to show her, show her some love and also just to get some more inspiration and motivation to get things checked off your to-do list. I want you guys to leave it down in the comments below. How many times do you fix the pillows on your couch? I keep telling myself our next couch is going to be pillows that are fixed there, but then building forts and all that stuff would be not as much fun. But how many times a day do you guys fix, tidy up the pillows on your couch? I want to know that. Leave it down in the comments down below.
over to the kitchen area. These are two little cute, um, the little um, rainbow and the butterfly that Brooklyn and my husband did. They're adorable. They did that this morning. Um, but now I am going to tidy up the kitchen area. After that, I will head off to the cleaners and Target to get those two things crossed off my to-do list. video to clean I am just using the Mrs. Myers spray which is probably one of my favorite um, it is the mint scent and I'm just using a microfiber cloth I get my cloths from Amazon and then I also have been known to get them from the dollar store I just recently posted a video where the video before this one where I decluttered um, a few cabinets in my kitchen so make sure you check that out this video was shot before that one so that's why that um, little spice area those are our everyday spices looked a little bit of a hot mess they are looking much better now Target, so I'm gonna go over really quick everything that I got. I got my son some um, folders. I got him five of those. Um, he didn't even go with me. I This is my 12th year, I guess we've been doing it. He's going into 12th grade. So I kind of can grab everything on my own. Um, anything special that he'll need for any of his classes or periods, um, I can grab that as needed. I was actually feeling really sad because this is his last year with me doing back to school shopping for him. Um, Brooklyn, of course, will have her turn, but it's just, it's just, I don't know. I just feel really sad. So I also got him one of these five star um, binders, not binders, um, notebooks. I got him um, college room paper, some sticky notes, pins highlighters, Brooklyn's lunchbox. I did not get today, but it's only sitting here because I did pick her up and I don't even know what that is. Like dirt. I did pick her up this um, new container to go in her lunchbox and I wanted to make sure it fits and it does. So I got her this snap and lock. She had a pink one, but it went missing at school. Um, so highlighters, pencils. I told you pens, white out, um, some index cards, and then this, the racers, I got him underwear, Brookie underwear, and a three ring binder, and then some index dividers. I also picked up this soap because we needed that as well. But that is about it. Um, Target, I did have to wait outside and um, it was, it's like 100 degrees today. So I just wanted to get in and out. I didn't even go look at the dollar section um, because I wanted to make sure that I was in and out so that somebody else standing outside with their mask on sitting in 100 degree temperatures could get inside quickly to the air conditioning. So I ran in, got what I needed and then ran out. So now I am going to go and I need to go through the kids' clothing and discard, not discard, donate things that they are not using. So that'll be the next step. So I just wanted to take a look at my to-do list and check some things off. Now I made my way up to my son's room and he reminded me that I had just done this recently. So his clothes were pretty good. And in his drawers, he didn't really have anything much to give away because I guess I had just done this. But I decided to go through the socks 
and to make sure that um, nothing had like holes or anything in it. I have ordered him a few pairs of socks online and I just wanted to get rid of like the holy ones or like super faded ones to make room for the new ones. So that's what I'm doing here, but it was really, really quick. Brooklyn was napping, so I did not get to do her room until a few hours later until she woke up from nap. But her room I hadn't done in a while, so that's gonna take a little bit more time. It is now a few hours later and we have made our way into Brooklyn's room. I am pretty organized in general, like my kids' drawers and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to kind of go through everything and just get rid of stuff that was too small or whatnot. But as far as organizing, um, I try to stay on top of that, usually on the weekends, and just go through everything to make sure that we are get ready, getting rid of stuff that we longer need. I don't know about you guys, for toddlers, it is so important to go through their stuff because guess what they're going to wear? want to wear? That shirt that's two sizes too small and you're going to let them wear it with their belly hanging out because you forgot to take it out of their closet, especially little girls. So I try to make sure that I'm going through her closet and just donating items that are just too small or if I know that season's coming up and they're going to be too small by the time that season comes up, I'll just donate it now because maybe somebody else can get use out of it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going through all of her clothes. Um, all of the organizational bins in her closet are actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just like them. They've held up pretty well. I've had them a few years. The ones in my son's room were actually from Target. So they're a little bit more sturdier and they hold up a little bit better. And his are 10 plus years old and they've held up fantastic. So um, all of my kids' clothes too, they are color coordinated. Um, and I just think it looks a little bit better that way. But I put them in like rainbow colored order. But yeah, just making my way through all of Brooklyn stuff and just getting rid of anything that is too small um, so that another child can get use out of some of her discarded clothing. And here you can see I got rid of like a decent amount of clothing for her. And then now I'm just gonna make my way through her dresser drawers and get rid of some of the stuff that is, I try to get rid of most items that are the two T size um, and just get rid of them so we can give them to another little child. And then PJ's just going through those as well and getting rid of any that are getting too small. And then I was just going through her, her underwear and just making sure I got rid of anything that was stained or like super duper faded. The underwear I'll just throw away. I won't donate those. Or that was just like peeling or these little underwear I get from Target, the elastic starts to come out. So I was just making sure I got rid of any of those underwear that just looked kind of raggedy. I do have to say I enjoy organizing the kids stuff way more than I do my stuff but it's just fun and especially my daughter's stuff is like little and cute and it's just fun to organize. But that is it guys. I hope this video gave you guys some motivation to get some things checked off of your kids back to school list with whether they are doing homeschooling or actually going to school that you're getting some things checked off so you can get them ready for the new school year. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.